All right, I got this bin of clothes. I'm gonna dump them on the ground, smoke them, and put them back in the bin. Do the smoking, as you saw, I'm gonna use, this is like beehive smoker. I'll put a link for one of these in the description section. Uh, they're like 15 bucks or something like that. Last year I used nose jammer all season to test that out, just to try as a cover scent. This year I'm smoking my clothes. I'm gonna show you how to do this, and then I just was on a hunt right after I smoked the clothes, and I had deer walking right up to me, and it didn't even phase them. They were doe though, so take a little paper, you can use newspaper, put that in there. Get some wood chips, drop that in there, and then it's just a matter of lighting it. Let's head back outside. We take a lighter, light my paper, get the paper going. All right, once you get a little flame, just put it in there. So I just take it, let it smoke all over the clothes. A lot of times I'll just put my clothes on at my hunting spot and just do it right all over myself and then walk in. So that's basically all I do. I just, um, you know, let the smoke get on the clothes. It doesn't take a whole lot for that smoke smell to cling to the the cloth of the clothing. So um, I just usually do it right before I go out hunting. I'm headed out this afternoon, and um, I'm just going to throw all this in my bin. Once I get to the spot, I'll take it out, get dressed, and head into the woods. Um, in some situations, I'll bring this with me to the hunting spot, and as soon as I get out of the car, I'll smoke my clothes, and I'll bring a water bottle, and I'll dump it in there to uh, extinguish it 100%, make sure it's all cooled down, and then I'll store it back in my bin in the car uh, very carefully and safely. Uh, these are very inexpensive. I'll put a link for this in the description section if you want to give this a try. I've tried for many years to... Um, you know, just eliminate all odor from my clothes. But if you live in an area where there's any human activity or you're hunting in an area where there's any human activity, chances are the deer are gonna be used to campfire smells or even people burn wood for heat in the wintertime. So they're used to the smell from it coming from chimneys. And so they don't always associate that with immediate danger like a hunter as they would um, your body odor or you know odors that your clothes take on from just the elements uh, by themselves so thanks so much for tuning in again this is Sean McVay Sean's Outdoor Adventures until next time take care and God bless